Pack up! Bo! Oh. Honkers got me excited. We're probably yeah, on top of a couple hundred there, feet. There should be hundreds below us, right? Coming up anytime. I can't even drill. Old Bob just hooked up. Oh, finally on the rip, and that was awesome. Right at the end, man. I mean, all the way at the end of the rip. That was sweet. <sighs> yep, get it done. The good for footage. That's awesome. That was cool. There he is, little guy. I'm a, like I told you, I'm a dink catcher. I'm a dink catcher. Better release him, huh? There he goes. Boom, boom, wow. catch and release quick. Oh, what? Man, right at the end. Everybody. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got a big one, boys. Big one, boys. We got a giant. Holy smokes. That's a big one, dude. Wow. Wow. Right there, we'll get this little one back. Right on. Man, that guy. Man, it, right, right off the get-go, it's... Those big ones, they swim hard. You gotta keep the tension. But then they just go turd on you. Belly up. Wear them out quick. That's awesome. If you guys wanna book a uh, trip to come literally wreck the spoon bill, uh, we got a band, Jordan, behind the camera. Thank you for filming, Jay. Uh, a band. This is what, our eighth, tenth fish of the day. It's going awesome. Big one, my biggest of the day. Good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good thing. Baby. Look how beat up he is. He said they're that beat up from the because they go through the dam. Look how big dude. Oh. Back out on him. Holy smokes. That's a good one, my man. Wow. What do I do with that? Absolute. Yeah, that's big monster. Dude. I mean that's a good. Yeah. What do you think? Seven. Wow! Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get her big old fat female. She's gonna go back later. Later, age. Good job, my man. Here we go. Good job. This is awesome. Those are huge, huge, huge. Like I said, get a hold of Brian. I will link Brian's guide service down here in Oklahoma. He gets it done, gets you on the fish. He will keep moving. He's gonna tell you, hey, if something's not working, we need to move spots. Listen to what the man says. You going to get it done for y'all. This one might kick my butt. <laughs> oh. Well, you've got like three off camera, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think, well, we've caught a lot off camera. We oh, went, yeah. we just went live on Instagram and caught, I don't know, five or six on Instagram. Within like eight minutes. No more okay. bands though. Oh, this seems like a beast there, y'all. This is absolutely awesome. When you get on them, I mean, you on them. This is awesome. Now we got a double. Got one over there. Gerald got one. Woo! Another big fish. You can let him go right there if you want. Okay. Woo! Ah, <laughs> man, that guy wore me out. There he goes. That's how you do it right there. The number. Well. Last fish of the day. Jordan was like, I'll pick it up, try one more. He's seen a lot on the graph. This is the one I'm taking home. I can take home and do the old catch clean cook with this bad boy. We're all taking a fish home. Last one of the day. 
Might take a minute to get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too small? Whatever you want. So whatever you want, Bob. You only give you like eight pounds of meat. <laughs> Be enough for dinner. Good. You good with it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good eating size there. Good eating size there. That'll give me some good old fillets. back at home and just got done cleaning the fish check it out look at that got me a tubs worth probably i didn't have the biggest fish in the world probably i don't know that's probably three pounds ish what would you say how much is that four or five four or five pounds yeah you're better at that than me it, it's it's more than you think so Jordan and I just got done cleaning. Uh, I got one tub. He ended up getting two right at about eight or nine pounds for himself because his fish was much bigger than mine. But it wasn't as bad as I thought cleaning them. It really went pretty smooth. I was shocked. I know. I was like, man, this is a huge fish. This thing, I don't want to mess it up. Right. I mean, it's a nice fish. <laughs> Jordan's a butcher, if you didn't know. That's his main job. That's his main priority in life is butchering. I mean, and it's mainly cows, pigs, chickens. First time doing a big fish, he slapped her down and got her done, and I was like, all right, I'll try it out. But we can't put any of that footage on YouTube because y'all know why. Yep. Fred, you can't have any of that. He's been going up, look at him, turns his head away. He's like, okay, dad, okay. He's been interested in these fish. He'll go up and smell them, and he's like, that don't smell right, you know what I mean? But is it scary? You scared of that fish, bud? Oh, poor guy. We're on the quad. Come on, Fred, let's go. Uh, with all this being trapped at home and self-contained and social distancing going on, we got Dad and I wanting to do some camping. Sorry if it's loud, this old quad, she's a brute. So that's what we're doing. We're back on the North 40 behind my place. We got the camper set up. We actually camped last night. It was such, such nice weather. We had a lovely little spring thunderstorm roll through. And it was amazing. The whole, the ground's wet, and we're cooking lunch. But here we are, like I said, back on the North 40. Got the camper way down in the valley. <clears throat> it's awesome back here. There's awesome little valleys and hills where you can get the camper down in the valley out of that north wind. So nice. Yeah! But here's the old Featherlight camper. Yeah, how was the last night's stay? Pretty nice? It was a little bit windy, it was raining, and I slept like a baby. That thunder, I could hear the thunder. Beth Jeep was parked right next to it. I didn't even hear her get up and go to work this morning. <laughs> you were out like a light, huh? I was out. But the little camper, I'm telling you what, it provides. Look at it, it's awesome. What, how long is this camper? It, this is actually a 17.7, it's 20, 20 almost 22 feet outside it's about 17 foot nine inches inside uh fully so, self-contained off-road edition yeah it's an off-road edition it'll sleep what four to six it'll sleep two three four five comfortably dad and i use this camper all the time and uh check it out you guys haven't seen it in a while got a bunk bed here for the kids got the bathroom that is very providing for the size of the camper but one, two, three, four beds, that'll sleep too. Got a little stove up here, which we're not using today. We're doing some outside grilling today, boys. So this is what we got going on. Here is our paddlefish. Uh, this is kind of the raw paddlefish before it's been nice and cut. So what I did is in our chunks, I cut around the skin, get rid of the skin, and then get rid of the center spine area, and then chunk it all up. So it just gives you nice, beautiful little chunks. Now, I have never ate paddlefish, but everybody that I've talked to is like, dude, it's one of the best. I've heard nothing but good things about how good paddlefish tastes. So this is what we're gonna do today. Uh, the wife cooked up some seasoning and some flour with some breading chunks. So what we're gonna do, each chunk we're gonna douse in franks, then we're gonna throw it in the seasoned flour, then we're gonna put it in the bread chunks, and then it goes in the oil. All right, looks like our oil is about ready here. Let's give her a test. Oh, yeah, she's ready, boys. All right. So what I'm going to do, here's our first chunk. We're going to throw it in some franks, toss her around a little bit. 
Oh yeah, there she is. Nice and coated. Goes right into the flour or batter. Toss it around a little bit. Goes right into the bread crumb. Toss it around a little bit. Look at that yummy little dude there. Oh boy. Okay, let's throw her in here. Oh, look at that. But we're going to keep uh, seasoning these bad boys up. We're going to get them all on the cooker here. This outdoor little stove, this is the stove that I bought for the boat cooks. I think we did what two of those not very many and then we gave it away last week still missing that old boat oh man boom well, hi what are you guys doing we're making, lunch. we're making lunch for you bub you want some yeah oh boy they are looking golden and good just a couple more minutes and they'll be done so, like I've been saying, uh, we're going to be doing some camping videos. If you guys want to see some tent camping, if you guys want to see some makeshift survival uh, shelter rigging camping going on, you guys got to drop a comment down below and let me know because spring's here, camping weather's here, dad's gearing ready, ripping ready to roar and start camping. You've already been camping a little bit, haven't you? I've been camping several times already. Even in the cold? In the cold. I'm telling you, Dad, I grew up camping. We all grew up camping, and uh, it's in my blood. I haven't got to do it for too long, and we need to get at it again, let me tell you. Well, here is the last batch of them. They're done. Oh, boy, these are going to be good. I can already smell them. So, here we go. You ready, Dad? Let's uh, have us a little bite they're nice and cooled off looks like a chicken nugget don't it it's really tender yeah first impression it's like chicken <laughs> it tastes like chicken it tastes like chicken oh my goodness they're really tender it tastes like chicken boy howdy wow it doesn't have that wild fish taste. To it. No. It does not have that wild fish taste or nothing. Wow. So paddlefish are, I mean, it even looks like chicken. It definitely is way, 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 way softer and tender than chicken. All fish is. But powder, paddlefish don't have any bones. It's all cartilage. And they feed and survive off plankton. That is it. They don't eat, they're not a predator fish. They don't eat plants, plankton only. So, I was real curious of how the meat would be. You know what I mean? And these things, oh my goodness. I wasn't ready for this. That's addicting. Well, I, you know, I've eaten a lot of fish in my time. Yeah. But I've never ate something that it, it just is actually tender. Yeah. Oh, and it does tender. not taste like fish. No. Wow. Wow. Wow, simple setup, guys. I'm just in my little outdoor setup. Nothing special. I was thinking to myself, man, do I need to go get a big old propane oil frying setup? No, no, I don't. Use everything I already got for camping, man. Uh, you both want to try some or what? Yeah. You do? Get you a piece, bub. Take a big bite. Get you a piece. Ooh, what do mm. you think? You put? It, do you like it? Well, why'd you put it back, Bubba? You don't just take bites and put it back, you. Bubba. What? Was it too spicy for you? Yeah. Just a hair spicy for Bubba. I always try to tell him. Every time I'm like, Bodie, it's going to be too spicy. He's like, nope, Daddy, I want to try it. Ooh, 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 ooh. You look at him. He's like, oh, look at him. He sits right up. You've been a good boy, Frederick. Want to try it? Ooh. What do you think, Frederick? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He was like, nah, not fish, Dad. Hey, man. Hey, Bubba, are you ready to go for a ride? Yeah. Me too. Is this, is this quad? Yeah, is that your quad? Yeah. Oh, we'll climb up there on the saddle and let's go, partner. Come on, sis, pile on. Let's go. The awesome thing about hunting back on the old North 40 is we get to do it all right at home, and we don't even feel like we're at home. I love it back here, don't you? Close to home, easy. I love it can't get enough of my grandkids it's awesome back here we're gonna be doing a bunch of videos to come y'all if you have any recommendation on videos that you want to see back here on the land I'm gonna be building some shooting ranges we're gonna build some stuff we got some stuff in the works I just bought a new toy which I have to show you all actually I got two new toys 
I can't tell you all, you'll just have to wait for the videos. But lots of videos to come. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Big shout out to Brian Baker, owner at Spoon Records, putting us on the fish. Absolute awesome guide in Oklahoma, y'all. If y'all want to book a spoon bill adventure with Brian, I'll link him down in the description below. It's his Instagram. Shoot him a direct message. He responds to everybody. He'd love to have you. It's only 150 bucks a person to go do that. It's extremely cheap, and it's springtime, and it's time to get it done on the spoon bills if y'all want to. So. Brian's an awesome guide. He will put you on the fish. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you. But big shout out to my notification gang. Thank you, guys. If you haven't hit that notification bell right down below, do it. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. It'll give you a little notification right on your phone. It's pretty nifty. But I think I already said it. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Peace. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl